Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and this is Cosplay Girl Budgets. If you're new to my channel, on here we do budgeting, saving, cash stuffing for travel and anime conventions as well as daily expenses. So if you're interested in all that, please hit the subscribe down below. Today we are cash stuffing my second paycheck of April and it's going to be a little bit of a... Uh, small cash stuffing which is okay so and i i have a little bit of news so i'll you know take a sip of my coffee and we'll get right into it okay so today we are cash stuffing 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 5 10 15 20 25 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61. So $161 today. Hope everyone had a lovely week. When I am recording this, I am actually going to be going on a hike later on today. So maybe I'll insert some clips or um, some video. So maybe I'll show you some pictures if I take any. Uh, we are gonna start with my wallet today. And I do have some rollover. So I have $5 in personal. And one, two, three dollars in my challenge, which is just me setting aside the ones that I spend from my personal and I just use it to cash off my emergency. So we are gonna skip create and we are gonna put money into personal today. We're gonna give it $20. Okay, and that's it for my wallet. Today's coaster is a Totoro coaster and it has soot sprites I thought it'd be perfect because it is a bit of a rainy day today. But I'm hoping it'll get clearer for my hike. So we're going to go into my main binder here. I'm going to be stuffing Enzo with $1 today. I don't really have a lot of money to work with, but I still want to put some money in there. Uh, vet is very important. I'm going to be scheduling his vet appointment soon. I can't really wait to uh, save up the money that I need. So the $200 will go to it and then anything that I, the rest of the money will have to be saved up and paid back to my credit card because he really needs his shots. So we're going to do these mini savings challenges and I'm going to actually start with Luna and we're going to color in two five dollars having credit cards are is like a blessing and a curse you'll see why i said that later because <laughs> you'll see why when i get to my adventure weights so we will be putting ten dollars in here and let's see let's do a ten so now it has 100, 200 in the bank and 10. So $210 here. And then we're just gonna skip over health, uh, health and car maintenance. Um, I did actually empty all of these um, savings. <laughs> So I don't have anything in health or car maintenance, um, and yeah, I, I have to stuff 75. That's going to be a little bit of a slow challenge. If you were, if you listened into my last video, you'll know that I have to save up a, like another $600 to possibly um, get another part fixed in my car. So yeah, let's just hope that nothing happens in the meantime. Next up is groceries, and that's going to get. $50 today, so 20, do we want to do that? Let's do 20, $40, 5. 
Okay, so now groceries has 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So $50 in our groceries. And next up is gas, and we'll be putting in $80. I can survive for the last two weeks of my the month with $50, but I noticed that I cannot survive by cutting down gas. Like I always have to put $80 in gas. So this should be 80 if I'm correct. So we have 20, 35, 45, 50, oops, 20, 30, 45, 50, 65, 75, 80. Oh my gosh, I think I counted that wrong. 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80. All right, so $80 in gas. I did actually uh, find uh, some friends when I was in the guild for D&D &D, um, to play free so now I'm no longer playing at the guild cafe which I'm kind of sad about but at the moment I just can't afford to pay $20 a session and some people actually play every single week so if you add that up that's over sometimes over $100 and as much as I would love to play with the people over there I I'm just not able to at the moment so I did find some friends that are playing a game just like at home and stuff so I'm still having fun playing D&D but I'm not spending any money for it so very thankful to find people that I can still continue this new hobby of mine. Next up uh, is not Christmas but I did want to share that I also emptied that. I put in my Taurus challenge for my birthday here, which is empty, and like I said, I will definitely go over why all of my envelopes are basically empty in here, except for emergency, um, which we will be stuffing in this cash here. So we're actually going to stuff the $5 in there, so we have $8 to play with, and let's color in some of my save a latte I'm eager to get this done because I know I only have like small denominations left so we will do let's see let's complete this row up here and we'll do the one dollar and then We'll do a five. And then we'll do the two down here. Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. We only have a handful of spots left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots left. So hopefully between my regular paycheck and rollover, I can finish this challenge for my emergency. And I'm doing savings challenges for this. So it is a little bit easier for me to build up my 1,000 um, 1K goal. And I use a... 1k finder to track that but I will show you that when we complete this challenge I will do a 1k emergency fund cash stuffing. So now in emergency we have 50, 70, 80, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Alrighty so 126 which makes sense because this equals 150, so we are so close. We are just need like $24 left, which is very exciting. So that's it for this challenge here. And then this is for my de my friend's dress. So I don't I'm not putting anything in here. She's giving me money towards that. Um, if you're curious about that, uh, I'm actually making her wedding dress, so let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see, like, a mini vlog of how I, from concept to how I made it. 
I'll definitely be willing to do that for you if you're curious about sewing and stuff like that. So that's what that's for. And then this money is going back to the bank. And that's it for this binder. Okay, as you can see, there is no more money left, but I did want to kind of chit chat to you a little bit about how my trip went for Colorado. So if you are not going to stay for this portion of the video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and yeah, if you made it to the, uh, this point of the video, please put a star emoji down below and I just want to thank you so much for watching. Um, so into my adventures so let me take another sip of my coffee okay that was more like a gulp <laughs> um so yeah a little update on like how my travel binder is going Kasukan is a convention that i go to in february and that's empty but i will have to start saving for that soon um because the registration and hotel block comes out in mid um in mid-year so i'll probably end up putting a lot of that on my credit card this is why i say credit cards are a blessing and a curse um because you can easily spend so much money on credit cards but at the same time when you have things like this that you know you'll be saving the money for but you don't necessarily have it right now um you can put on your credit card and then pay it back so that's why I have a love-hate relationship with credit cards. It's probably why I'm in debt. Um, but that is beside the point. My next trip is actually Salem, which is coming up really soon um, here in May. And I did save up the $600 for it. And that's in prep money right now. Um, I will probably have to budget $100 more because after paying for the events, and the hotel, I only have $100 um, for this trip, which is really not enough for just eating. <laughs> eating in general is so expensive when you're on a trip, as well as drinking, because she wants to go to the bar and stuff like that. So it gets pretty expensive and $100 is not gonna be enough for that and of course if I want to buy any like souvenirs and stuff so I'm hoping to save up another hundred dollars which will be possible because May is my magic month which is exciting it's also my birth month so I'm very very excited for May and then as you can see my state trip uh, is empty so I did go to Colorado uh, not Colorado Oh my gosh I did go to Charlotte North Carolina I did I wanted to go to Colorado but it was a little too expensive so uh, let me know down below if you would love a budget breakdown of my Charlotte trip where I went right and where I went wrong please let me know down below I might make a video uh, just because I know I have a lot of people who love traveling so that might be an upcoming video but let me know down below if you're interested in that um, so yeah, I spent everything. I saved up $500 for this trip and I went with my mom. And usually when I'm solo traveling, I can pretty much budget and um, figure out, you know, what I need and stay within my budget. But when you're traveling with someone, it is definitely a little bit more difficult because you end up kind of sharing the expenses. Like if you go out, you'll eat food and then you'll split the bill or uh, a lot of the times I would say oh I'll get this one and then before I knew it I was definitely $500 over my budget so what I thought was going to be a very small trip ended up being a little bit more expensive than I anticipated um, so yeah I did definitely overspend and that's why a lot of my um, envelopes are empty because I did take it from all of my savings challenges are gone all of my um, most of my sinking funds are gone obviously that is still the same and I wouldn't take from my emergency if I didn't have to uh, and I don't really deem this an emergency so 
I'm kind of okay with having a little bit of credit card debt. So after I paid everything, I still have like $300 I still have to pay um, for that credit card. So that's another reason why credit cards are really not that great, especially when you're traveling, um, you can tend to overspend. But I don't regret spending the money because I had a really wonderful time with my mom and she lives now in Florida so it's very very um I don't get to see her very often so I didn't want the idea of not having enough money to enjoy my time with her get in the way and so that is why I definitely went over you know my budget I also kind of made a spur of the moment decision to, um, I guess I'm going to skip a little bit over some of these envelopes. Um, occasions is still, you know, we're still rocking. It's still there. Same with vacation. Um, definitely need to focus on those two uh, a little bit more. Um, we're going to my spa trip now. A little update on that. I actually, um, I wanted to book this towards the end of May, but I ended up booking it at the end of April so I also decided instead of trying to you know put more money on my credit cards I downsized all of my envelopes you know the savings challenges between the savings challenges and my regular envelopes I was able to fully fund this so, so I do have the I do have fifty dollars in the bank already because I did like a deposit so fifty dollars is there and then this is now $250, so $100 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, wait, hold on, I feel like I counted that wrong, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, okay, <laughs> so 250 so I decided to complete this challenge. Um, so the challenge in here was to save 180, but I needed a total of 300 to pay for my spa. So this is now fully funded and will definitely be the only spa trip I take this year. So that's that. This will just kind of hang out until I decide to stuff it more in this binder. But yeah, so I didn't want to like put more debt onto my credit card so that's why I fully funded this envelope um, yes I could have put it towards my credit card um, to pay off for my Charlotte trip but honestly it wouldn't really make a difference either putting money on it for my spa trip or you know paying off a credit card and still getting money I don't know I feel like I don't know if anyone feels like this here they're like in an endless loop because I want to live my best life, but also I can't, I, I can't say, okay, I'm not going to say I can't get out of debt because that's not correct because plenty of people in the cash stuffing community do it all the time. Where I think that I lack is discipline, um, because shiny things, <laughs> not to make very light of the situation, but that is the, that is the truth. Um, you know, I have a lot of th of goals and things that I want to accomplish in life and I don't want to wait until I'm out of debt to do it because by the time I'm out of debt I will be like 40 something maybe I'll be old and I want to enjoy life now I don't know if anyone else struggles with that I don't know this became like a coffee chat <laughs> so I appreciate if you are still here with me and listening to me chat about you know what's going on with my expenses plus like my mental battles of credit cards because you know they are good in certain aspects but you they are also bad in certain aspects it's like a balance with it and if you are not good with credit cards and you just think of it as your extra money and you just spend to the max like none of my cards are maxed out thank god but they are getting pretty high because, you know, I've been purchasing some stuff that 
I probably could wait. <sighs> I don't know. I struggle. I I know I'm probably not the only person who struggles with this, but yeah, I struggle with that. Um, all right, reeling it back in. Sorry, I just did a little rant there, but I definitely am struggling with that a lot lately. The um, the difference between like living the best life that I have now with the means that I have and also trying to get out of credit card debt. I know it's going to be a long time till I get out of student loan debt um, because that's like way out of my league, but yeah. I kind of want to make a video about it. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of want to do coffee chats with you guys, but anywho. Um, Thank you so much for listening to my rant. I did want to do something else very special. I will, I definitely should put chapters in this video, but that's a mental note for me. I did want to do something fun towards the end of this video and maybe people will stay and watch it and maybe not, but I did want to kind of roll and I'm going to put this away. I did kind of want to do some of my savings challenges for the next pay period and just I think maybe doing this ahead of time will help me budget better. So I'm going to do my scratch roll and save as well as this. We are in Taurus season now so I didn't get to do Aries but now I have Taurus which is my season. Yay! Hooray, all May babies. <laughs> if you're a May baby, let me know it down below. Um, but yeah, so we have our plus times and minus here. And I'm going to kind of put this here like this and just shuffle it around at random and see what we're working with today. All right, let's do this one. Okay, times. So we'll see how that goes. Oh my gosh, I feel like times can be a lot. So my object of this is to try and get this done in two pay periods. So there are six in each column. I'm gonna roll six times and I guess I'll do three with the times and then I'll pick a new uh, thing for it just because I feel like times can get pretty expensive and yeah, we'll have to make some sacrifices but all of this savings money is gonna go towards my travel binder I'm going to probably not stuff my travel binder for a little while. And this one is going to go towards my maid of honor dress that I have to get soon. So let's start rolling. Okay, so four times four times together is 16. So I'm going to try to make this a very low denomination one. So if I get two digits, I'm going to add them together. So I have seven for the first one. So we have a six and four, which is 24. So two and four is six. And then let's see, the last times is four. Alrighty. And then the last three, we are going to subtract each one. So let's see. Okay, so four minus three, that's going to be one. I'll just take the bigger one and subtract so we have no negatives. Six minus two is four. <gasps> squeak, squeak. <laughs> Um, and the last one, five minus two, which is three. Okay. And so let's see how much we are going to cash stuff for the next, for the May pay period. So we have seven plus six plus four plus one plus four plus three. So $25 is gonna go into my Taurus savings challenge. So yay, I am happy to start that. And then let's see, let's try to do, let's try to do two of these and then I'm gonna bring out my sticky note because I will 
put a sticky note here to remind myself because I will probably forget the number. I will probably forget the number because this one involves the other dice here from the polyhedral dice. So let's see, let's get a coin and we'll just start from the top. Okay, so we have five. We have five and it says roll a d10 or a percentile dial. Dial, a percentile dice. Oh my gosh, okay, so five and we're gonna do a d10, which is this one here. All right, so nine and five. Okay, so I have 25 and 14. Let's see how much that is. $39. Hmm. Let's do let's do one more. So 14, 14, 14. Let me let me just put that here so I don't forget. And let's do let's do her. Oh gosh, that's 15. All right. It's always lets me do one more and then it's a big one. <laughs> And this one is roll a d4. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so two on the dice. And so we have 15, 16, 17. So plus 17. And that's going to be it for now. So plus 31. We're going to add here. So for our savings challenges, we're going to be stuffing plus 31 and 25. So $56 which is a little bit more than I want to. I want to try to like keep it at a minimum 50, but we'll see. 56 is what we'll stuff. And I'm very excited to have a three month pay period because that means I can get a lot more savings done. So yay, and pay off some of my credit card debt. So that's what we're doing for our next time for our cash stuffing in May. So yay, that's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.